But let's turn our attention to some state issues. You know, when I first got to Nashville, you know, there's always several of these investigative reporters that are known to be, you know, kind of gumshoe, get to the bottom of the truth of what's going on in local or state politics and expose it to the people around. And Phil Williams was one of these guys. I don't know Phil Williams. Uh, he works for News Channel 5. Um, I know that he has exposed several Republicans since I've been in town, um, you know, I could go through some of the cases. I don't want to bore you with them. I have begged of him and have impressed upon him my desire to see him investigate Representative Justin Jones as an example. Uh, there are credible reports that Justin Jones covered up a sexual assault, uh, two separate sexual assault allegations outside of the Tennessee State Capitol in 2020 when Justin Jones was acting as an activist. Uh, and the accuser said that Justin Jones intentionally refused to report the sexual assaults to police because he did not want to get off message and make the story about the assaults as opposed to their point of view. In other words, he chose his activism over a sexual assault of two separate females, according to his accuser. Phil Williams has not responded to my request for him to investigate that. But he's an investigative reporter for News Channel 5. Now, he had a big expose that he was promoting all throughout the weekend that dropped last night at 6 o'clock. Uh, let me share with you, before we introduce to you our guest, uh, the the premise of the expose that they say just pulls back the curtain on the shenanigans and goings on of the General Assembly. Thanks for joining us here at 6, I'm Rory Jones. And I'm Carrie Sharp. In the recording, you will hear, that obtained by Chief Investigator Reporter Phil Williams, you will hear how one group with un virtually unlimited money to spend threatens a reluctant lawmaker that his job could be at stake if he doesn't vote for school vouchers. Okay. Phil is with us now. Phil, yet another example. Uh, Reve you're revealing what's really happening behind the closed doors at Capitol Hill, right? That's right. A couple of weeks ago, when school vouchers came up for a vote in a House committee, we had heard rumblings about threats coming from those big money groups pushing the legislation. Tonight, you're going to hear the evidence for yourself. Okay, welcome everyone. All right, so there's, uh, and they go into the story, and the background of the story is basically this. Uh, that there are lobbyist organizations that believe that there are measures in front of the General Assembly that could benefit the parents of children who have children in public schools in the state of Tennessee. One of those lobbying groups is AFP Tennessee, Americans for Prosperity Tennessee. The head of that group in the state of Tennessee is Tori Venable. And Tori Venable is being accused by Phil Williams of something. I'm not really sure of what she's being accused of doing, except lobbying for her organization and lobbying for what she believes is the best path forward for parents in the state of Tennessee. To speak to this matter and to speak to the piece that happened last night, we welcome Tori Venable to the Matt Murphy Show on Super Talk 99.7. Matt, thanks so much for having me. Hey, Tori. Glad to be here. Oh, you evil thing, you. My How dare you? strong-willed woman with red hair. Uh, I, I asked Tori when she came in if she brought uh, a, a lot of money because apparently you have billionaires backing you. And uh, according to Phil Williams, that's a, a bad thing to have money behind a cause that you support. Well, I mean, good ideas get funded, right? And so we have we are blessed to have donors across the United States that you want to see us in Bidenomics and increase the March for Freedom across from D.C. to Tennessee and anywhere in between. So I've been with Americans for Prosperity since 2013 when Andy Ogles was our original state director. And I think there might be a little bit of a personal issue there where Phil has has does not like our current congressman in the 5th Congressional District. So maybe maybe that's a piece of why the targeting is happening. But, you know, we I am more than a lobbyist. I'm the state director for Americans for Prosperity, and we fight for lower taxes, less government, more freedom, better education. And we've been doing this for the past decade here in Tennessee. This isn't some fly by night group or out of state, whatever you want to call it. And to make it about donors or money instead of about helping the kids and failing schools in Tennessee, that's what's really wrong. Well, he he seemed to want to focus in the piece, and the piece is eight minutes long, and I'm not going to bore the audience with it. And if any anyone wants to find it, you can find it. I've, uh, it's all over social media. But he seems to focus on the idea that there was a threat made by your organization, by you specifically, to a lawmaker, and that it was all on recording. Um, 
How did how did this conversation with Representative Todd Warner go down? Well, Talk he, to me about it. Uh, well, he called me up on a Saturday on March 16th, and I was pretty suspect when I was on the call with him because he was saying a lot of really out-of-pocket shady things. So I kind of suspected something was up with the purpose of his call. And, you know, to say I can't protect you if you're on the wrong side of this, that's not a threat. That is a statement of fact. Because I can't. If you're on the wrong side of this issue, we know where parents stand. We know how Tennesseans feel about this issue and they want school choice. And all we are doing is connecting with constituents back in the district, letting them know how their lawmakers are voting. So I just want to get all the background straight in my head. So you've been advancing the cause of school choice in the state of Tennessee for since decade. it came up for, for, a, for a long time. Right? Yeah, for as long as I've been involved. I've been and I care about this deeply. I'm a mom. I went to a failing Nashville public school. I know how much education can change a kid's life. And that is why we are fighting for it. If I won the mega millions Powerball tomorrow or tonight, I would still be giving my time, my treasure and my talent to make sure that every student in Tennessee has access to a stellar education. So the um AFP Tennessee, their involvement in this specific legislation, I mean, it predates this specific legislation, oh, yeah. their involvement in, yeah. in school so choice. So the special needs education savings account, the sa- education savings account that just went into effect last year, um, that is Davidson, Shelby, and Hamilton counties, those were where we had the most failing schools. We want to see every child across the state of Tennessee have access. So when you go down as a representative of AFP and you talk to lawmakers, I mean, you, you feel like you're representing, obviously the organization that you serve, but more importantly, the parents that would be impacted by the legislation. The most underrepresented, uh, underrepresented constituency up there, right? We represent taxpayers and parents. We represent people that are just regular Tennesseans that want what's best for their own children. And who better to make that decision than the parent instead of the government? And, and I would note that, I mean, there are other organizations that are dedicated to this purpose, right? And Phil makes mention of a couple of them. So AFP is not the only organization lobbying on behalf of parents. That's correct. Well, not on the school choice front, right? But we work on a lot of different issues. So we are also working on the constitutional amendment to forever ban a statewide property tax that should pass the Senate later on this week. So there's a lot of different things, especially on the fiscal policy side that we work for. Lower taxes, less government, more freedom. That is our 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 bread and butter. So it it feels like this piece, and I, I would describe it as a hit piece against AFP, and and more specifically, they try to use you as an. I, I don't know what they're accusing you of doing. Uh, do you? Uh, I I don't understand either. I mean, frankly, you know, this is politics. This is exactly how these things go down. There was never any threat. Like I said, it was a statement of fact. And how would you think that? I would rep, uh, that I'm going to protect you or come save you if you don't if you're not aligned with us. Like, so, why would I do that? So in the I, I just want to get the timeline right here, uh, because you say that this conversation happened on a Saturday, March 16th, just yeah. eight days ago or so, or I guess 10 days ago. now. That's correct. The there's a, a part of the piece where Phil Williams is standing in a hallway with you. Mm hmm. And I'm assuming that this is sometime around the time that the bill was before the Ed Committee. Yeah, I think it was the 12th. So Phil Williams interviewed you in the hallway asking you if you'd ever threatened lawmakers or whatever before you had this telephone call? Yes, which I told him then was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, that's interesting because he he's going down a line of questioning about you and how you do your lobbying, Mm -hmm. and then four days later, the representative that eventually turned over the recording to him calls you. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Do you feel like Phil Williams and Todd Warner set you up? I mean, they tried, I suppose, but I mean, I didn't say anything that's not the truth. I didn't say anything that, look, I'm a, I am an authentic truth teller, and that is a rarity in politics. So, you know, they're not always going to like when I tell them the truth, but I'm not going to lie to them and I'm not going to be unethical with them despite the traps that were laid out before me. So let, let's talk about Representative Warner and the, and the phone call that you had. How long did it go on? It was a 17 minute and three second phone call. And I mean, why did he tell you that he called you? He wanted to know if we were knocking doors in his district. It was how he initially started out. And I let him know that I didn't think anybody was knocking doors down there that day. Uh huh. 
And then where did it go from there? Oh, well, I mean, he, he hit on a bunch of different things. I mean, that's where it, that's really kind of what raised my, my flag to think. That is it odd is, that a representative would call you on a Saturday? On a Saturday and also like wanting to know everything that AFP is doing and, and saying, oh, I hope you don't get somebody to challenge me. Like, that's not what we hadn't had any conversations about that. And I told him before, I think it was even included in the report. I was like, look, I like you. You'd be the last person on my list. We agree on all these other things. Um, so d- explain to people that don't understand what a lobbyist like yourself does. So and 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 we, you know, sometimes we use the word as a bad word, mm-hmm. uh, but really, I mean, I, I have my concept of what the purpose of a lot. Explain to people what you do on. So on Capitol Hill, what I do is a little bit different than most of the contract lobbyists up there or the taxpayer funded lobbyists up there, because I am what I would refer to as a conviction lobbyist. I don't lobby on anything that is not a sincerely held personal conviction. And so that is a small fraction of my job. Most of what we do is we elevate people's voices in Tennessee. So we have brought over 200 people to the Capitol with us to meet face to face with their representatives and their senators and tell them that they support school choice and why. So they can understand how the policy is impacting the people that they represent. That is something that's different than we do versus so many of these other groups out there, because our focus is the grassroots and elevating the individual's voice to the legislature. So you get called by Warner on a Saturday after you've been talking about this issue. Has he already told you at the time that he calls you that he's going to be a no? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, you knew. yeah, I already knew he's a no. Yeah. And and how do you respond to that as head of the AFP? I mean, do you do you, I mean, because you obviously let him know and I don't know what led up to the conversation. You do. Mm hmm. Where he said, well, you're coming. Out. Well, if, well, I mean, if, if the chips fall where they may in terms of your organization and who you support or who you don't support in regard to his particular district, right? Well, yeah. I mean, we, or any district. we, we issue a scorecard at the close of every legislative session when people are paying attention. It's tnscorecard.com. And you can see all the b- bills that we key voted. This is our top priority this year. This is the biggest, most transformational change that we can make in our state so that every child has access to a quality education. And the parents should control that, not the government. So that is our focus. That has been why we have brought people up to the Capitol. That has been the primary effort of our lobbying this year. And, um, you know, he's he said he's a no. He's and that's fine. I don't expect him to be a yes. I was done arguing with him about it because other than arguing the actual merits or details of the bill, which like granted, there was a there's a lot of details that had to be worked out. But once it became clear that it doesn't matter what the what the bill is that he won't support it, there's no reason for me to waste my time or his. All right, so you have this conversation. How did the how, how do you feel like the flow of the conversation went, and how did it end? Just give me kind of the 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 basic wrap up of the conversation. Well, the basic wrap up of the conversation was I even whispered to my husband who was sitting right there. I said, "I think he's recording this because he was saying some crazy things about giving away money to Ford and how it was for jobs and and uh, he tried to call the ESA legislation corporate welfare, which it absolutely is not." And, uh, you know, he, he, he said a bunch of things that just we haven't that he hasn't said in any of the other conversations and brought up other individuals, tried to kind of trash talk a bunch of people. And I just wasn't going for it because I'm, I'm focused on policy. He specifically asked, like, uh, he, he thought somehow, cause I guess it was included in Phil Williams piece. Some other groups had sent out some text messages or sent out some um, some digital ads that we did not do. So, Ours was straight up grassroots lobbying. Call your lawmaker, which did not just go to Warner, by the way. It went to like 18 different districts. Call your lawmaker. Let him know that you support school choice. That's what it was. Right. So you had basic advocacy. And and I don't the Phil Williams piece. I mean, they're treating it like ooh secret recording. Well, it's a telephone conversation. Right. So. Tennessee is a one-party state. Mm-hmm. You were unaware that you were being recorded. That's correct. So either Todd Warner was aware that the recording was happening, or it was an illegal recording. Well, I mean that. I mean, yeah. Because there, there's two parties in the conversation. <laughs> you were not aware that you didn't. Did you give a recording to Phil Williams? No, I did not. Okay. I, I, I suspected it when it was happening that there was something shady going on, but I absolutely did not. No, know. I'm just yeah. I'm just figuring out what the what the nature of the call was and whether or not the call had a purpose beyond 
just talking to a lobbyist like yourself, talking to AFP, explaining differences. That makes sense, right? If I'm a representative, look, I know I'm with you guys on most stuff. I just want you to know where I'm at on it. You felt like it was more than that? Oh, absolutely. I, I felt like he was like rattling off union talking points at me. So I, I, I just really wasn't. I, I laugh a bunch of times. Um, I told him he was being ridiculous a couple of times. I mean, I just I wasn't going to argue with him. That was not how I intended to spend my Saturday. And it's it was what's the point? I already knew he was a no. So, I mean, whether I, I don't understand why, because we were friendly before this. Right. And I think he's attacking AFP or like wanted to put AFP in the bullseye here because I'm the only one who will answer his calls. Because any of the other organizations that are fighting for school choice, if he tries to call them up, I can guarantee you they're not answering. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more doors closed to him in the future because he's not a reliable person. Well, and and by the way, in the interest of, uh, well, just letting everyone know and disclosure, Todd Warner, I talked to Todd earlier today. Todd's coming on the show tomorrow. So he's going to have ample opportunity to give his side of this story after Tori gives her side of the story. Uh, and he's agreed to do that. And that's wonderful. And you know what? If Phil Williams wants to come on and talk about his part of the story, he's welcome to do that as well. Uh, the point is this. Um, y- you feel like you had established where he was on the legislation mm-hmm. and you expressed your discomfort. You, you, Phil Williams is suggesting that there's this billionaire outside organization that is impacting the people of state of Tennessee. How do you respond to that accusation? Well, well, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that, you know, this is about donors or money or anything else. You have entrenched interests that want to maintain the status quo. And what we are fighting for is the future of Tennessee's children. Do you uh, stand by? Do you want me to go to break now or do you want me to go ahead and go to this? I mean, I, I'm I just need some counsel from you, Bell. Go to go to this. Go, go ahead and go to this. All right. So uh, apparently we had set up a conversation with Representative Todd Warner, and apparently Todd Warner wants to talk to us now. So Tori Venable's here, and Todd Warner's here, and Matt Murphy's here. Representative Warner, are you there, sir? Yes, I am. I am here. Okay, so... Um, phone, well, I don't know what's going on there for full disclosure, but I stepped out of committee. My phone is blowing up. And uh, I understand somebody's not telling the truth is sitting there in your in your. Oh, you think so? Okay, are you so, recording this conversation as well? Well, we are. I didn't record the first one. <laughs> so you so okay? So you did not. So was it a telephone conversation, Representative? Yeah, it was a telephone conversation. <clears throat> and you did not record it. No. Were you were you were you aware of the recording? No, I was not. So you're saying, what, Tori, were you aware of the recording? Absolutely not. So someone's breaking the law, Representative. Uh, I mean, I don't know if anybody broke the law or not, you know. Uh, you don't know the laws uh, about recording? I, you don't know the laws about recording yeah, in the no, state of Tennessee? I don't, rec- I, don't, I, don't, I don't record, I don't record uh, <laughs> conversations. I don't, you know, you know. Uh, you know so it is, your, it is your state, and, so it's your statement today that you did not record this conversation? No, I did not record a conversation. And you do not, you had no awareness that the recording was happening at the time that the hey, telephone the, the, the conversation. Record, I, the, the, the recording happened on, on December the 8th. When Corey, when I talked to her about the, when the bill first was being talked about, when, when, uh, False. uh when it, when it first, first came out, uh, uh, I called her because I knew that they were, you know, had been, I'd been told that they were working with the governor. I called to find out about information about the bill. I told Corey, uh, Tory at that time that I would, I couldn't support the bill. I ran on that. Uh, there's no private school in my district. Uh, this is growth in government. And this is corporate welfare. This is an entitlement program. It's everything that, that, uh, uh, that T, uh, that the Tories group stands, you know, stands and usually fights against. Right. But right. Now, right. Right. Well, I, I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get a timeline. Hold on. Sure about I'm just, that December 8th? I'm just trying to get a timeline. So you're saying the recording happened on December 8th? Uh, it's somewhere about that time. I'm not. How sure. do you know if you're not aware that the recording happened? How do you know when it happened? Because, because I've got bits and pieces from, from when somebody sent it to field, when they put the attack, the, the hit ads out on me. Somebody was sick of that mess, and they, and, and they, you know, I guess they sent Phil. I don't know. So Phil Williams told but, you that this happened on December eighth. Uh, there somewhere, somewhere about. Okay, so now, so no, I, no, wait a minute. You just said December eighth. Now you're walking back on that. I tell said, me, tell me what you know. 
they sent somewhere in that vicinity is when when it when it when when I was still with them. So you're you're saying that you you had a telephone call with Tori Venable and that that telephone call was recorded unbeknownst to you. Is that you're on the record for that? I, I'm I'm on the record saying I was threatened by Tory Venable and by if <laughs> no sir my question to you were you aware of a recording happening at the time that you had the conversation presented by Phil Williams there, there on was, News Channel Five lot going on we, there was a lot going on you're crawdadding representative I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this I'm not trying to challenge you I'm not trying to argue with you I'm trying to get to the facts I'm asking you to tell the truth were you aware oh, were you, sir. you Sir, were you aware that you were being recorded? I'm not 100% sure what was going on. There was so much, you know, I was surprised by the threatening that I was receiving. So you cannot tell me whether or not you were aware that you were being recorded at the time that you had the conversation with Tori Venable? Yeah, I, I, I wasn't 100% sure. There were several people in the room, and she was on speakerphone, and who, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Who was in the room? Tell me who was in the room, I please. I can't remember. You can't remember. Was Phil Williams in the room? Remember. No, absolutely. One hundred. Did you did you get not. did you give the recording to Phil Williams? One hundred percent did not. Did, did are you are him. you aware of who gave the recording to Phil Williams? One hundred percent, absolutely not. You are one hundred percent, absolutely not sure, or you are sure that you don't know. I'm, I'm not sure who gave it to him. Which who, who sent it to him? And so, and so, I'm asking you, sir, that we we need to open up an investigation as to who recorded you, Todd Warner, and Tori Venable, because it is illegal for a third party to record a telephone conversation between two other people in the state of Tennessee. Are you aware of that, sir? Uh, I, no, I don't know all the laws here in the state. No, I do not. You're a you you represent what district, Mr. Warner? Ninety uh, second district, sir. And you're not aware of but all that. I don't know every single and, law. I don't think there's every, yeah. that, that no representative up here knows every single law. Come on, Matt. I'm, I'm asking you once again to tell me whether or not you remember who was – you remember that there were people in the room there, during the there, time of the there, conversation. There were several people in the room. I don't remember. I'm not calling – where, 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 where were you when the conversation happened, sir? In, in my house. And there were several people at your house, sir? Yes. And while you were having this conversation with Tori? Yes. And this happened on or around December 8th. Is that your testimony? So, yes. Yes. Sometime, sometime in that. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't remember the exact date. I can try to look back and, and, and figure it out. But, but I, you, I well, you originally, you originally seemed very sure that it was December 8th and now you're not sure. Is that right? Is it somewhere? In, is it somewhere in December? She made it sound earlier, and I'm having to go off text that that that, that someone had sent me that, that that me and Phil collaborated this up. That is absolutely not the truth. Why don't you get the truth out of her about what she did? Well, I'm gonna what I'm gonna I'm gonna to I'm gonna whip up on her when I'm done whipping up on you, Representative. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'd love to come down and sit down with right beside you. Well, and, and I would her, love. I would. You're this. you're welcome to. We'll you can come down deal, anytime. But you know, anytime. I, you know. It, uh, it, you know, it, it, what's, what's sad about this is I vote with AFP 99.9% of the time, and, 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 and to get done like this, I'm one of the most conservative members up here. Are you and, not? And, uh, integrity I, I, is I, one I, of our guiding I, I, principles. I understand, I understand all of that. Uh, Representative Warner, it, what concerns me is that a sitting representative, you said the 92nd District. Yes. A, a sitting representative of the 92nd District was illegally recorded in or around or on or around December 8th with people present and you're not really sure who was present you were illegally recorded representative and are yeah. you are you concerned at all I've about been, that hey, let me tell you I've, since I've been down here I've been recorded a lot a lot do you uh, ever record conversations <laughs> representative do you have you ever recorded no, no. conversations no no no, ask uh, ask Tori about her uh, her uh, about Michael's recording. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll ask Tori. I'll ask Tori. No, plenty, ask I know I'm asking you. So you're you've never recorded conversations as a as no, a representative. No, 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 not unless I'm like, uh, it, like some, you know I lay it up for, for like if I'm discussing a, a bid with somebody in, in, in my job or something. But I don't record conversations down here, and I don't have no need to. Uh huh. But I guarantee you, mine's been recorded. By the federal government and everybody else down here. Uh huh. 
you know, my home's been raided since I've been down here. Your it's, home, uh, your, really your home's been raided. Been yeah. Well, I'm sad to you hear that. You know all about it, Matt. You I'm, know all about it. I'm sad to hear that, Todd. I mean, no, I do. I do. Listen. And I've never been, I've never been charged with a crime. I've um, never been charged with a crime. Have you ever well, had you anyone know, assist you in recording conversations? No, absolutely not. Okay. I so yeah, I don't need that. I don't and need that. And, I don't and, and, that. and and it do, and I'm just I'm going to take you at your word when I ask the question and and I, I have no reason not to Todd. It doesn't concern you at all that a third party recorded your conversation between yourself and Tori? I've got man, I've got nothing to hide. I've got not not a damn thing to hide and uh, it, it you know, I, I I mean, I don't know where you're trying to go with this, but you know, I assume every conversation that I have up here at Cordell Hall is being recorded. And if you don't assume that, then... Wait a minute. You you, 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 you just told me you were at your house. I, I am. I said I assume every conversation I have up here every day is being recorded. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the conversation that happened on and around December 8th with folks around, none of whom you can remember, at your house with Tori Venable. Yeah, I, 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 we've done discussed all that, Matt. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to wait and come in and well, sit down you're well. Uh, look, you're that. welcome to come in. I, I I just have a hard time believing that you can't remember anybody that was around you that day. I I that I, I mean, I I'm not saying time, you're not. Uh, I have a hard time sitting back and, and people and and, and and listen to lies that I what what, what threat you you said on the Phil Williams piece that you felt threatened by Tory. What what threatened you I, I don't feel i mean not, not like a physical threat i feel like that they're gonna you know no you I said i, I saw you like i mean i saw it last night you said that was a threat that was a threat phil that's what you said you pointed and said well, that was, a, it threat. was a political threat it, it was a political threat More like a statement of fact threat. not a threat yeah all right so well, I'm i don't, at, I don't I, think it is a uh, go ahead did, will, 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 will her will her will her group headhunt uh members down here absolutely they will she knows it will you know, will your group headhunt individuals down there, Tory? Representative Warner says that you will uh, headhunt. I don't, I don't know what he means by that, but will you? AFP supports <laughs> policy champions that work on the issues that are aligned with us, and you know, if did you? And, and, I, and now, now, Todd, I've been mean to you. Hold on, I'm going to be mean to Tory. Okay. Did you record that? Absolutely not. And and oh, I have more to say. Did, do you remember? Is it to your recollection that this happened on December eighth? I remember having this exact conversation that was aired with. Todd Warner on the 16th of March and I thought it was very suspect when he called me on the Saturday and we talked for 17 minutes and three seconds so do why you don't you just release phone? the whole do you thing? have that come uh, sure do I oh, have a wow. screenshot of where he called me All on right. this day so did you do you recall the conversation representative Warner that you had with Tory Venable on, Mar on March 16th you, I told you earlier I called about trying to find out what was in the governor's bill when it first started coming out no no this I'm talking about March 16th this was a, a no, little I don't over. remember March 16th I'm I'm looking at her telephone right now sir it was a yeah, seventeen a seventeen minute telephone call on March sixteenth at two oh eight p.m. That ain't when that that ain't when that ain't when that nothing that ain't. You know it, that's when it. Was. It says Todd Warner no, on it. it sir. Absolutely I'm, not. Get Phil. Get Phil on the show, dude. Get I'm look, I, 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 I'm looking at the phone, Todd. It says Todd Warner, seventeen minutes and thirteen seconds, March sixteenth. Are you denying that you had a telephone conversation with Tory Benavol on March sixteenth? I, I I can't remember. I don't know. Why don't, I don't do you, do you have your do, do you have your cell phone near you? Yeah, I'm on it. Well, why, well, why don't you look at your cell phone and tell me? Well, because I'll have to get back and try to try to find it. Okay, but I can assure you that the, that that's when it did, it did not take place. In I promise you. It okay, so it, it, it is your statement today on these airwaves on Super Talk that you did not have a conversation with Tory on March 16th. I'm, I made. I know. I'm not saying that. So I'm now, saying so I did you not did. record no conversation with with Tory Venable. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm asking you if you had a conversation. I'm asking you if you had a conversation I don't, on March 16th. I don't 16th. remember, Matt. You don't Matt, remember. I do not remember. Can I you look? Can you, could you put us on speaker and look at your phone and see if your phone shows you? It was just. It was just over a week ago. You could scroll back. You just scroll back to recents. Uh, like if you have got an iPhone over there, you just go to recents and you just scroll back to March 16th, and it probably say Tory Venable there or something like that. Could you do that for me, Representative? I've had more than, than I've had several t conversations with her. No, I cannot find it at this present time. Okay.
Okay. But, but you know, I've called her. I've called her numerous times. Like I say, I vote way that you know we believe we believe a lot alike. This is one issue. That All we, right, I want I want I, I want you to feel like, I issues. want you to feel like you're being treated fairly. So what what do you want me to uh, press upon Tori Venable right now? What 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 do you feel like she's done I mean, wrong? I, you know, just you know, I I mean you know just. Uh, it, uh, just whatever you want to press. I mean, no, you tell done, me. Uh, you tell me what you think she's done wrong and what she's done against the spirit of your you know, representation she, of. I, I, did, I felt threatened uh, by a political threat, not a physical threat, and I've heard her boast in the past about the work that they've done to take out Bob uh, Bob Ramsey, which I absolutely did not agree with a lot of his politics. Uh, I've heard her boast about that. I've heard them boast about having other reps on 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 uh, on uh, on tape uh, themselves. They probably got me on tape, uh, uh, and uh, I've heard members of AFP. Well, we can. I don't want to call no names, but if I need to call names, I'll call names. Call names. But, Let's call names. Uh, Let's go. Call names, man. This is your point. This is your time. This is your moment. Call names. <laughs> I'm not a guy to try to stir up a bunch of trouble. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, you can't. Right, you, right, you, right, representative, right, my, you can't. My, my, you listen, Todd. You can't. You, l- listen to how this. I, I want you to know how this is going for you right now. Okay, let me let me explain to you how this is going. You're for killing you. me, Matt. I know what you're doing. I but never you, no, no, I'm me. not killing you. You're killing you. You can't tell me yeah. whether or not you had a telephone conversation a Saturday before last with Tori Venable. Yeah, uh, n- no, I cannot. You can't. No, you can't I, remember it. But you remembered at the beginning no, of this conversation. Can you, you but, but you, you told me, to the, the dude, know? at the beginning of this conversation, you remembered that you had one on December 8th. You said I December said it 8th. it was around December 8th. No, no you no. didn't. I have this recorded. Todd, we can go back and listen. You said December 8th. I said December 8th. Are you sure? You said yes, I'm sure. Yeah. I, but I don't. But, but there were members from her, her group that come into my office three weeks ago, two to three weeks ago. I'm not exact on date. And they plainly said that they had members recorded and in one of them that they would ruin one of them's career. What, if, what? They, if they let the, if they let the tape out. Who was that? I know, I know absolutely nothing about this. I have no idea what he's talking who, about. Who came into your office, Representative? Michael, Lo- M- Michael Lofty. Well, Michael Lofty. And whose career did he say he was going to ruin? I'm not going to do that right now. Why not? Um because I'm just not going I mean, to hell, that. you're ruining your own career today. Why not ruin his? Uh, I, 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 I let my reputation stand on its own. And people back in the 92nd of district, uh, you know, I was attacked pretty you hard can't, last time. You can't tell me whether or not you had a phone conversation with a woman sitting right here who says that you did and gave me evidence that you had a conversation, handed me the evidence in front of me, Todd, and I've you had can't. I've several conversations with Tori. She knows how, how I mean, she knows how, how, how you know, uh, mm-hmm. how I've supported her legislation in, in the past. Well, I mean, I, I think that's great. I think that's great. I, I don't have anything against you. I have against people that don't tell the truth. But, that lack integrity. I have I have a little something lack against people. That, is that and, I don't, is? And, and Representative Warner, I don't believe you're being fully truthful today. Well, sir, I stepped right out of committee to, to, to make this call. You I understand. You already me a time or two, and I was trying to find a time. I understand. And I have two or three people, my constituents, says you need to get I'm on. I'm an and open, I, well, and I, and I, I hope that right they feel well, sir. I try to do so, and mm-hmm. I walk myself into, to, you know. You, well, I mean, I don't, to, you know. I was trying. Like I made this up with Phil. I didn't make it up with Phil. I, Phil got no, 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 hold, 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 hold. When, did I, when did I say you made it up with Phil? Where when did I say that? I never said that. Tori said it. You indicated that the that, that, that Tory. That, well, I mean, Tory's up. Uh, Tory's entitled to her own opinion. You're talking about me. You're talking to me. Yeah, I want you to get Phil on the show. Let him talk to you. Phil is invited anytime, and you, Representative Warner, are invited anytime you want to come on, including tomorrow if you want to finish this. But I've got to go right now. All right. Thank you. I'll see if I can get an appointment there tomorrow. Hey, by all means, come on any time you want, Representative. I uh, I welcome the conversation. There's Representative Todd Warner. Well, that was interesting. All right, we've got to make up some time here. Uh, Tori, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Todd see if he wants to come back on tomorrow. And I will invite you at a time down the road so that we can talk more about school choice and perhaps you can offer your testimony as to what he has to say tomorrow because i i don't want anybody to feel like i'm bulldogging him or i'm setting him up he called us 
Well, I, I want to add one thing just for the point of clarity here. That December 8th date that he just happened to throw out. My daughter had a baby at the beginning of December, and I was in the hospital with her that entire week. And I was not taking political phone calls in December. Well, there you go. Tori, thank you. We'll do this more in just a moment. And and for the record, I saw her telephone that indicated that she had a conversation with Todd Warner on the 16th of March for about 17 minutes. So, you know, I don't know what Todd's thinking.